Macrophages are immune cells which defend the body from infections and maintain its integrity and health. In response to the presence of pathogens, macrophages employ various pathogen neutralizing mechanisms. Macrophages are also responsible for the uptake and degradation of non-functional apoptotic cells. Depending on whether macrophages are responding to pathogens or clearing apoptotic cells, various mediators are secreted, each with their own distinct effects on the immune response. Macrophages are present in almost all organs and tissues. In certain diseases, macrophages become destructive and cause inflammation, which can lead to a systemic pathological state. For instance, when adipose tissue macrophages cause inflammation, metabolic diseases such as insulin resistance may develop. Adipose tissue is important for the metabolic and endocrine well-being of the body. However, excess accumulation of fat can evoke inflammation-inducing behavior in the adipose tissue macrophages. In obesity, the fat cells reach their capacity to properly handle the lipid molecules. Some of the fat cells die, and the unpacked lipids undergo chemical modifications. The dead cells and the modified lipids are recognized as danger signals by the adipose tissue macrophages, or ATMs which then gather around the dying fat cells. Eventually, cytokines secreted by the ATMs diminish insulin sensitivity, causing metabolic disease. Our laboratory, located at Ulm University in Germany, works to understand adipose tissue macrophage development and immune behavior. We are especially interested in identifying hormonal signals which maintain the healthy behavior of the adipose tissue macrophages. We have identified a hormone named noropeptide FF, or NPFF for short, as a key signal which controls the behavior of the adipose tissue macrophages. NPFF is secreted by the hypothalamus, and it has been shown to reduce appetite. We show that NPFF is also secreted by the endocrine pancreas. NPFF-containing cells, indicated in green, are located in the periphery of the pancreatic islets around the insulin-producing cells, indicated in purple. The NPFF receptor is an inhibitory G-protein coupled membrane receptor called NPFFR2. We have found that adipose tissue macrophages express NPFFR2 in mice and in humans. In our study, we show that in a lean state and especially after fasting or low calorie diet, the blood contains high levels of NPFF in mice and in humans. Obesity reduces the plasma NPFF level. NPFF is sensed by the adipose tissue macrophages through NPFFR2. Activation of NPFFR2 evokes specific transcriptional changes, inhibiting inflammatory activation of the adipose tissue macrophages. As a result, adipose tissue macrophages acquire a so-called M2 tissue-friendly non-inflammatory phenotype. Moreover, NPFF increases the self-renewal of the adipose tissue macrophages. We have explored these mechanisms in our article by the use of transcriptome analyses, transgenic cells, and mouse models. M2 adipose tissue macrophages proliferate in response to NPFF, replacing the macrophages which may induce insulin resistance due to their inflammatory behavior. This beneficial effect of NPFF can protect the adipose tissue from inflammation and improve metabolic health.